Chapter 8, An Impressive Scene In the visions of the night, a very impressive scene passed before me. I saw an immense ball of fire fall among some beautiful mansions, causing their instant destruction. I heard someone say, We knew that the judgments of God were coming upon the earth, but we did not know that they would come so soon. Others, with agonized voices, said, You knew? Why, then, did you not tell us? We did not know. On every side I heard similar words of reproach spoken. In great distress I awoke. I went to sleep again, and I seemed to be in a large gathering. One of authority was addressing the company before whom was spread out a map of the world. He said that the map pictured God's vineyard, which must be cultivated. As light from heaven shone upon any one, that one was to reflect the light to others. Lights were to be kindled in many places, and from these lights still other lights were to be kindled. The words were repeated, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Read Matthew 5, 13 to 16. I saw jets of light shining from cities and villages, and from the high places and the low places of the earth. God's word was obeyed, and as a result there were memorials for him in every city and village. His truth was proclaimed throughout the world. Then this map was removed, and another put in its place. On it light was shining from a few places only. The rest of the world was in darkness, with only a glimmer of light here and there. Our instructor said, This darkness is the result of man's following their own course. They have cherished hereditary and cultivated tendencies to evil. They have made questioning and fault-finding and accusing the chief business of their lives. Their hearts are not right with God. They have hidden their light under a bushel. If every soldier of Christ had done his duty, if every watchman on the walls of Zion had given the trumpet a certain sound, the world might ere this have heard the message of warning. But the work is years behind. While men have slept, Satan has stolen a march upon us. Putting our trust in God, we are to move steadily forward, doing his work with unselfishness, in humble dependence upon him committing ourselves and our present and future to His wise providence, holding the beginning of our confidence firm unto the end, remembering that it is not because of our worthiness that we receive the blessings of heaven, but because of the worthiness of Christ and our acceptance through faith in Him of God's abounding grace.